We're back with Julia Fullerton Batten, the very cinematic photographer, as we discuss her recent project, Looking Out From Within, and how she captured the feeling of the current climate. Well, I, I was going to show a different image, but now you're mentioning lockdown. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm going to jump to this image, okay. um, which oh, yeah. I, sh I shot a project uh, titled Looking Out From Within in, in lockdown. Um, it was when COVID hit, hit London and, you know, we were all confined in our, in our own homes. We could only go out for an hour every day. I felt as a photographer, I had to do something about this. And first I was just photographing people randomly on the street because it was so unusual to see people wearing masks yeah, at that time. For sure. But then I've always loved the, the painter Edward Hopper. And I just love the picture within a picture frame, mm -hmm. you know, picture, picture yes. which is through looking through a window. And I thought, well, I remember photographing my young brother uh, we were in, uh, in France through a window and I just love, really loved just that the simplicity of the frame and he was within that frame. So I thought, well, I'm just going to photograph people through their windows because that's what I saw on these desolate streets around London in my area, in my local area. I would walk around the neighborhood and just see people looking out of their, out of their windows, nearly like they were in, caught in cages, you know, as if they were in a zoo. And oh, yeah. it, was, it was really surreal because there were some footages of animals suddenly playing in swimming pools or going out when people were inside. I don't know if you ever saw that, but there was some video footages all around the world of these animals just suddenly having a party yes. outside. Yes, Because people were suddenly <laughs> not driving cars. They weren't out on the streets and these animals just kind of took over. Um, and so this was the first image that I created of uh, Chloe, which was lockdown day 19. And um, I took about 20, Im 20 different images of people through their windows. And this is me not, this is as far as I go with um, reportage, yeah. <laughs> as yeah. in it exists and, um, but I lit it and I created, I, they are there in their homes, um, but I created in my own style, my kind of cinematic style of photography. Did you do any, was this, uh, this last one done with any particular lighting added to it or was it just really artificial or natural light that you, that you had right there? Well, what I realized after, doing quite a few that the best time to shoot was at night when uh -huh. the ambient, when the indoor um, lighting kind of takes over yeah. and um, giving it that kind of twilight feel. So I did light it. Yeah. I probably had about four flash strobes. Okay. Okay. That and... all outside. Actually, no, I did stick one in, in the, um, in the bathroom that's coming through the window. I see. Amazing that we don't see any reflection. You've done a really good job of placing those. There's nothing bouncing off those windows, which is remarkable. I thought that'd be really hard, but it's just finding the right angle. And, yeah. um, and you know, the great thing is with these lights is that you can put them on continuous lighting and you can see through the camera where, where the light is not hitting and where it's not reflecting. Right, right. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, oh, that's another lockdown shot, right? So th it is, yeah. So this one, I, um, apart from people approaching me and asking, because I put a little ad out in our, in our local um, kind of uh, online platform, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, I also prepare, pre-prepared letters and... If I found a house very interesting or a window, obviously I never seen the the homeowners what they look what they look like. I had absolutely no idea. But I put a letter through the letterbox. Uh -huh. These were my daily walks, saying, you know, I'm doing. We're all stuck at home. We don't have much to do. I'm an art photographer. I really want to record this time in our lives. Um, 
I find your house very interesting. Do you want to, can I photograph your home? It will take about half an hour or an hour. And uh, I probably posted about 20 letters. Um, only one person came, came back saying, yes, I'm interested. And it was, at, this one's called Anne Lockdown Day 74. And it was Anne's husband who said, I love photography. Will you photograph me? And um, we set up the time. I pre-prepared, you know, often I go to the location beforehand and discuss with them how I'm going to shoot it. I look at my camera angle. Um, what they're, we look at the wardrobe. Um, I bring in my own plant that was homegrown because a lot of people were homegrowing their plants at that time. Yeah. Um, bring in any kind of reference of, you know, lockdown. And um, then his wife, Anne, well, I was going to photograph John and Anne together, which I did, but the window was too small. Mm -hmm. Wife looked very interesting. I liked what she was wearing. And she, so I took different images and photographed her. Um, as well, and that's one that I chose in the end. But what the reason why I chose this house in particular is I love the empty. This is a really busy road in London. Yeah. Um, it's hardly ever quiet, but it was just nothing. No one was going out. It was just desolate, just empty. Looks like and a country I'm, road, not 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 in the middle of London. You know, especially because of the. What you have with the sky and the horizon there, I, I love that because it really looks like this couldn't possibly be London. Well, we've got the River Thames on the on that side, and that's why you okay. don't see any other buildings. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, and I love your mix of lights. You know, you've got the golden hour turning into the blue hour with you know the lights in the background and the lights inside. I mean. It's a wonderful mix of different kinds of light. And then there's the street light that is right. That, that is oh, right. Yeah. There it is. Me. That's yeah. great. That kind of slightly surreal purple tinge. It does. <laughs> yes, indeed. With the shadows. You really do have, I can see your affinity for painting because that really, that could be a painting, you know, what you've done here. And you, and you do it so purposefully and, your your setup process is so exact that it really is the you know the visual of it is very much I mean for sure cinematic but also it does seem like a painting that you're doing with your camera. Well, I I take that as a compliment because I always like things to look quite painterly and absolutely. I really love color and um, I spend a lot of time thinking about the background and what people are going to wear and what props and also what color palette. And I, I often remove things from the set. See, I call it a set. Yes. It's a set. It is a set for sure. Have but you photographed this... your cat, by the way? Do you, hmm? do you photograph your cat? Can you see the cat? Yeah, we can see your cat right over there. But is, I mean, have you used your cat as one of your subjects? No. Okay, just curious. Well, listen, why don't we take some questions? We can look at maybe some more examples uh, that relate to these questions. Jared, do you want to? Uh, read, yeah, read we've, off got, a few of these? we've got a couple. We've got several questions, actually. Um, we've got a couple that are related specifically to the Looking Out From Within uh, series. Uh, we've go got Wayne asked, uh, what strobes are you using? So I've Julie, I've gone back to the uh, the next one, which is a houseboat. It looks like with mm. uh, a woman with a bathing cap. So yes. strobes. Yes, I was. I use uh, Profoto B ones, and um, I use probably three or four on this on this particular image, um, and they're all from outside looking in um lighting up certain parts of the boat that i want to enhance i mean that light that is coming from that's pointing out is the natural light that she has actually in her in the boat in the room itself interesting so often i would get the homeowners to you know move switch bring in all the lights they've got yeah. you know kind of just um 
you know, like a standing light or anything that they've got, put it in the room and bit by bit we would switch them on and off and place them in certain areas to create that kind of effect. Um, but the, um, the strobes are, you know, lighting your face, uh, lighting bits of the boat. Um, one of them was lighting that boat in the background. It was lighting up some of the water as well. Um, yeah, does that answer the question? <laughs> I think so. Those are those are very excellent strobes that I think everybody should have in their kit. And you know what's also really looks great is the mix. Again, we were talking about the mix of light, that really warm light that that is just coming from the bulbs inside that boat, right? I mean, that's the warmth. It's just those tungsten yeah. lights. Yeah. And then you've got a lot of blue light in the background, you know. So that kind of contrast works really well i mean i often also bring diffuser and color gels and and play with that as well mm -hmm. uh, just to create another you know a slightly surreal look i would love to follow you around on one of your shoots just to see everything all the tools that you're employing because you are <laughs> you are definitely a master at that so i hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to like comment subscribe and enable that bell so you don't miss any of our new videos and as always remember to get out and capture your own images of life